I'm at Dancing Oaks in Monmouth with Leonard and Leonard you know the big buzz thing these days are pollinators and you know so many of us have flowers like down here we have the salvias mm -hmm. and roses and they are, and the pollinators will come to that but you have a whole selection of flowers that maybe we didn't think of so thank you for this selection it's gorgeous oh you're welcome so tell us a little bit maybe start with this yellow one uh judy this is an alstomeria or peruvian lily they're very easy to grow and a great cut flower and enjoyed by a lot of pollinators very colorful so it tracks in some of the hummingbirds and other uh, bees and there's another variety here it's a uh, alstomeria called tricolor nice. a long blooming selection probably blooms for six seven months in oh. the garden so we should share with them we should plant double so that we can have some cut flowers and then something for the oh, bees oh great idea yeah <laughs> and what else uh, here's a native here. This is our native milkweed, uh, Asclepia speciosa, and that is the food um, for the monarch larva. Ah. So the monarch uh, will lay its uh, eggs on the underside of the leaf there, and the little caterpillars will hatch out and eat the leaves of the Asclepias, or milkweed. Uh, and it's also a pollinator for uh, like swallowtail um, butterflies enjoy the nectar in the flowers as well. Very sweetly scented and drought tolerant. Wow, so we shouldn't worry if something's eating some of these plants because we might be giving food for the larva. Exactly, a good thing. Yeah, yeah. not just the flowers they're going after. Mm -hmm. What and else you got? Oh, over here next What's to you, one? which kind of goes right there with your shirt. It That's does. the uh, Trifolium rubens. Mm -hmm. That's a type of clover. It's oh. a nice clumping clover, so it's not one to be afraid of running or getting away from you. And the hummingbirds enjoy that one a lot. Wow. And it also makes a very nice cut flower. Um, so that's a Trifolium rubens, or red clover, but not the red clover that's planted as a cover crop. Oh, okay. And the flowers are so small, you would think that they wouldn't go to it, but they're really, really all there for the nice nectar. They, they find them, and they're also very beautiful when they're covered with dew in the morning. Oh. With the very dew drops on there, gorgeous. Uh, and I know this one, this is Crocosman, I know all hummingbirds love that yeah, one. Yeah, that red color, that really draws them in. And um, so any of the Crocosmias are fun for the hummers. Uh, they enjoy them and some of the butterflies as well. Is this a special one? That's a Lucifer. Oh, so a good tried and true yeah, one. Definitely. So, yeah. And then and what's this one? That's a globe thistle there. That's Echinops. And uh, they'll open up and it'll be this beautiful little starry, like a sphere of star-like mm. flowers. And the bumblebees in particular like those and I'll just work on them for several minutes, it seems like. And it's really fun, like they're traveling the globe. <laughs> that's a very easy plant and drought tolerant as well. Oh, that's nice. And lupin, oh. this is a beautiful lupin. Yeah, and there are some nice introductions of some a new series of lupin that are very colorful. Very uh, pretty. And um, the West Country series. And so this one, um, full sun, easy. Um, not particularly long lived, maybe four years or so. Hmm. You could a dramatic show out, but definitely worth it. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's some small flowers right in front. What are those? Yeah, this that's a one. nice little ground cover. Mm -hmm. It's uh, in the mint family, uh, Monardella, uh, Marion Sampson. And it is, um, as you can tell from the tubular red blossoms, a favorite as well of Hummers. And um, easy to grow rock garden type or at the front of a border Very nice. and nice minty scent to the foliage pretty and then this one has kind of a fuzzy leaf yeah this is uh, some of the uh, plants that are native to southern oregon and into california used to be called california fuchsias oh, okay. um, now they're called uh, epilobiums oh, in okay. the fireweed yeah. family and very drought tolerant uh, so great in a zero escape garden bright red tubular blossoms and uh, loved by both bees and hummingbirds as well. Very nice. So. And now what about this double one here? This is a selection of uh, Philadelphus or mock orange. Uh, this particular one's called Minnesota Snowflake. So most mock oranges are fragrant, some more so than others. Um, but one thing to keep in mind with being planting things for pollinators uh, is that double flowers are a little more work for them to get oh, okay. into, so it is usually better to plant simple single flowers. Uh, it's a little more pollinator friendly. They, that way they can be more efficient and not work so hard to get in there for the pollen or the nectar. Oh, perfect. So today is a special day for you. So what's going on today? Oh, we have a lot of fun things happening. Um, we have a lot of great um, information booths uh, from the Xerces Society and Audubon 
and the Oregon Bee Project and, and others as well um, to get out information about pollinators, to be aware of what kind of habitat we can help them out with. Um, we've also got some fun things for kids. Oh, fun. Uh, yeah, so uh, a soil tunnel that the uh, one of the groups is bringing oh, wow. to explore in. <laughs> and then we have a bee toss for kids that can throw uh, at this bees. board with bees. <laughs> <laughs> Little ping pong bees that you throw to help, help them learn about what flowers they might Aww. go to when they get a free plant when they Aww. play that game. And, that sounds great. And mason bee um, pollinator kits where we're using the, um, let's see, they're the bamboo tubes that we fill with a, uh, uh, well, that's okay. Yeah. So much to do. Yes. We can't list it all. So we invite you to go to the website for Dancing Oaks and come out to Pollinator Fest. It's so much fun for the whole family. If you can't make it out here, come on out another time or even go to their website. They do mail order. Thanks yeah. so much. Have a great Thank day you. today. Great to have you here.